What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to identify whether you have fine low density hair strands, how to care for your hair strands if it is fine and low density, and also how you can possibly thicken your hair strands. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so before we jump into the nitty gritty of today's video, I would first like to remind you all that I myself do have fine low density hair strands now until I ended my second lock journey I had no clue that this was my hair's profile you know that it's low density and I had fine hair strands and it is very important to know this before starting your lock journey because this will help you to um, start the correct lock journey in terms of the right sizing and um, what particular method you want to start your lock journey with or what what method would be the best for you to start your lock journey with. So um, if you are interested in um, starting a lock journey and you're not sure whether you have low density hair or fine hair strands or thick density and thick hair strands or a mix of each you know the other way around um, this video should be very helpful for you so let's jump right into it okay so let's jump into how you identify whether or not you have fine hair strands and whether you have low hair density now in a video I did about two years ago I had um, spoken about um, well I, I drew a diagram um, explaining how low hair density work and also I shared with you um, you know a little what would you call it I don't know what's the word but basically I showed you a specimen I guess of um, a specimen of my hair strand and also my husband's hair strand to show you um, the difference in terms of thickness of the hair strand thickness again I will go ahead and link that video for you to check out now when I explained that, it was, you know, a lot of people said that they found it very helpful and they understood a little bit more. Now, it's okay to understand it in terms of, you know, seeing it drawn, right? But how do you identify that in real life? How do you know for yourself that you have fine hair strands as well as low hair density? Now, to identify whether or not you have fine hair strands, we're gonna talk about that one first. Now, there are two ways in which I can suggest and I have you know, heard of that you can um, identify whether you have fine hair strands. And the first one is that test with the, um, would you call it the thread now mm, when I did that it wasn't very easy for me to really comprehend whether or not I had fine hair strands or not because to me looking at a piece of thread it's fine itself and then when I put my hair strand next to it it to me it seemed as though they were pretty much the same now I know they say that if it appears the same it would um, suggest that you have thick hair strands but I know for a fact I do not okay I do not because when I put my husband's hair strand next to mine it is so obvious that my hair strand doesn't even compare to his and when I would put my husband's hair strand next to um, a piece of thread my husband's hair strand looks so much thicker than the actual thread so that is a way you can identify but i don't necessarily think it is very effective because for myself like i said it i didn't really see a difference and i will if i can find that clip i'll insert it if i don't have that clip i will definitely record it and show you guys what i'm talking about so you can use that method to identify whether you have fine hair strands okay so let's talk about how you can identify whether you have low hair density or a higher hair density now there are two ways in which you can test this right and the first way is to put your hair back in a ponytail so take your hair out of whatever protective style it is in or if it's not in a protective style and it's just in an afro you want to kind of just you know comb through it and make sure it's nice and you know detangled okay because we know when it's tangled it can 
you know bunch up and you can't necessarily pull your hair back in like a ponytail so you definitely want to make sure your hair is manageable and can move around so what you want to do is get your hair in a ponytail and if your hair strand not hair strand sorry if your ponytail comes out as small as a, a, a one pence um, I'll definitely try and put the sizing up here so you can kind of an idea of what I'm talking about but if your hair your, um, your ponytail come out and you know when you put it back and it come out like about I think a, a penny is about this this about this a penny is then you will be considered to have low hair density because of the fact that it's not a lot of hair that is being held there so if you were now to you know have your hair in a ponytail and it come out about the size of a two pence piece so a two pence is about that big and if your ponytail come out quite chunky then you might dare have thick hair density so the other way in which you can determine whether or not you have a higher hair density versus a lower hair density is by putting your hair in braids or two strand twist and just have a look at your hair now if your hair come out quite scanty in the sense of say you were to look at your head after you have just installed a two strand twist or braids and then you realize wait i can see a lot of my scalp it's very easy to see my scalp i just look and there it is you know that will indicate that you do not have a lot of hair density because when you look at someone who has a higher hair density, if they had their hair in two strand twists or braids, you know, when they're finished with their hair, you don't really see a lot of their scalp because their hair is so, um, the, the, the braid or the two strand twist will be so thick because it has so much hair in it that it will just be much more voluptuous and fat <laughs> and it will just fall into the um you know the spaces and you won't even see it and some people they have so much that the hair is just laying upon the, the other hairs but if like me <laughs> you um you know install braids or you install two strand twists and then you look at your scalp and you can just see pure scalp then my dear you have low hair density so yes thank me later but at least you would know what you're working with and at least when you start your lock journey you will know exactly what you want to accomplish and what is the best um braid braid sorry oh my god where is my head what would be the best lock method to start your lock journey so those are two ways in which you can determine or figure out for yourself whether you have low hair density or a uh, higher hair density for me i have done the test myself and yes i definitely know for a fact i have a lower hair density okay so that's it for today i hope you found today's video very helpful and if you did then please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed and until next week we will be right back here with part two of this video